Hello everyone, this is Michelle with Michelle Crochets in Kansas. This is a cone of kitchen cat and yarn. I'm going to start doing a tutorial for a back scrubber for in the shower. Okay, so it's going to be about two feet long and then it's going to have handles on each side to help with um, scrubbing your back. So one person can do it. So just bear with me. I'm going to work on this. I'm going to put this on the floor because it will it won't uh, I won't have to stop every few rounds to unwind it. It'll unwind by itself if it's on the floor. So I will put it on the floor next to me. On the left hand side because I hold my working yarn on the left hand side in my left hand. That way it doesn't have to cross my body. And for some reason, I had the knot here, which is not good. So now I will see what I can do with this. I don't know where my loop starts and ends. There's my loop. This needs to come through here. Let's see here. Let me work on winding this up first. I'll be right back, everyone. All right, let's try this again. We're going to leave about four inches. Wrap your yarn around and pull it through from the back side through the loop and pull. And that's how I make my slip knots. I'm going to make uh, something about 24 to 30, I think 30 inches would be good. So I'm going to yarn over, pull through. That's one, two, three, four, five. And I will continue this until I get about 30 inches. And I'll see, meet you at the end. When I'm done with that. All right, everyone. I did a chain of 89. Because 88 will get me to 30 inches. And I added one because I'm going to single crochet in the second loop from the hook and every stitch. And that will give me 90 stitches. Or... 88 stitches, I'm sorry. That'll give me 88 stitches. So I start, I don't count the loop on my hook. This is the first loop. I skip that one and go into this one. I'm using an H hook, a regular four weight worsted cotton. Oops, let me make this loop smaller on my hook. Now I will go into the second chain from the hook. 
and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. That's my first single crochet for the first row. There's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Now I will take this out and show you what I've got so far. That's what I've got. And I will continue these single crochets all the way to the end of this so that I can, and I will show you what I have at the end and we'll, we will remeasure. So I will meet you at the end of row one. I finished my uh, first row of single crochets and I've got 30 inches and now I will show you what I've got here, my end. I'll chain one. Oh, I'll chain two. Turn my work. And I will do a double, half double crochet in every stitch around. I should have 88 stitches, same as I've had with the first round. I had 88 single crochets. And now I will have 88 half double crochets. And to do a half double crochet, I yarn over, go into, I don't know if I should make that count as a stitch. I think I'll only do a chain one here. And then I'll yarn over, go in the very first stitch, under both loops, both top loops, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the all three loops on the hook. That is my first double crochet, or first half double crochet. I'll make a few of these and show you how it looks. Okay. Went through those two and that one. Yarn over, go in the next top of the next chain. Yarn over and pull through all three. Yarn over, insert the hook in the top of the next single crochet. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over pull through all three loops on the hook and I will continue half double crochets like this all the way to the end and I will have 88 half double crochets I'll see you soon all right everyone I am at the end of row two with 88 half double crochets I'm wanting you to see, here's where I started the second row, and there's all these half double crochets here. And I am not color controlling because it's, the color changes aren't very uh, 
they're not that far apart. I, as you can see, I got three stitches of each color in a row, approximately, for half double crochets. Now I will chain one, turn my work, and I will start the next row, which will be half double crochets again, all the way across. And I will start with the first one in my very first uh, single cro or half double crochet space at the top of the half double crochet. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. And I will continue this all the way to the end. And I will continue this pattern until this measures four inches. I think that's a good size for it. When I get there, I will let you know whether I think that's good enough or if I need to go another row. I'll see you at the end of uh, the four inch width. Okay? Here I finished the row of single crochets here and I have just about four inches. I'm going to try this. I've never done anything like this before. But what I'm going to do now is I am going to chain one and work on the side of my work putting some single crochets evenly across. Um, and we'll see, I'm figuring about eight to 10 stitches. So I did a chain one, I'm gonna single crochet in the side of that single crochet row that I made. So there's one. And now I'm going to do two between this line here and this line. So I'm going to put one right in here. And one right in here. And then I'm going to put two more between this ridge and this ridge. So I will put one over here. And one right next to it over here. Now I will put two between this ridge and this ridge. So I'll put one right in over here. I want to go through more than just one stitch, one strand of yarn if possible. So it's more solid. And I'll put one right here. And then I will put two stitches between here and there. And I will have one at the end. So there.
So now we're going to count how many stitches that was. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 stitches. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double that. So I'm going to chain 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now I am going to turn this around and I am going to slip stitch or yeah slip stitch in this last chain on this end right there so put your hook in there yarn over pull through that and the loop on your hook chain one and now we're gonna turn around and we're gonna work one single crochet in each of these 20 stitches to make the handle a little stronger i hope i can do this all right getting the 20 stitches so my first stitch is right in here one I tried not to uh, twist this okay two I've never done anything like this. This is a first time uh, for me to do something like this. So I'm hoping it turns out all right. There's three. Four. Five. And after trying this one, we'll see whether we need it bigger, smaller, or wider or with softer yarn we'll get to decide all that and for the next time i make something like this we will know sorry guys i'm shaking This has been therapeutic for me. The crocheting helps with my, the nerve damage I sustained in that accident when I was a child. Um, I've taken organ lessons, piano lessons, and that has helped also. 
with my finger dexterity, my coordination. So now this is also helping with my coordination. But it's getting harder and harder as I get older. But I keep working at it even though I may be slow at it. Considering I've been doing this for 30 years. I've been crocheting that long and I learned the basics when I was a child. But I learned how to read patterns about 30 years ago. My mother-in-law taught me, which was wonderful. Now my daughter and my daughter-in-law are crocheting. My daughter is a beginner crocheter. She's having a little bit of trouble following reading patterns. But she can follow a tutorial. I'm so proud of her. My daughter-in-law, I taught her the basics when she was in college. And she put it aside and didn't pick it up again until after she was done with college. And she learned the rest pretty much on her own. I am so proud of my daughter and, and daughter-in-law for picking the, up this uh, learning how to crochet. I don't know how involved they're going to get with it. Neither one have children right now. But I know when my children were young, I was making all kinds of things for them. So, let's count our stitches. Make sure we've got the correct amount. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yay! Okay, so now we could, uh, Join this with a slip stitch to this first chain here. And then I will have to get some scissors. I changed my mind. What we're going to do is chain one and single crochet all across this bottom row to solidify it. And we're going to start in the very first chain where we slip stitched into. One, two, three. And I will continue all the way to the other end, and I'll meet you back there. All right, I finished the single crochets at the bottom edge. I did 88, like I'm supposed to have. This is the, the white one is my beginning one so I don't want that one I'm going to chain one and I am going to single crochet in that single crochet 
right there. Sorry for the shaking of the camera, but I'm shaking the table. So I'll try to keep my arms off it. And I will try to single crochet evenly across to get 10 stitches like I did on the other side for the handle. So that's two and three. Four. Five. Six. Huh. I had them spaced wider on the last side, on the other side. I know that one is good. Let's see, I need two here, so that's two, and this is three, and then I need two between this ridge and this ridge. So four and five and two between this ridge and that ridge. So six and seven, two between these two, that ridge and that ridge, eight, Gotta put this one further. Make sure I've got the right count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now I will chain twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now I will come over here, slip stitch in that very first stitch over here. Yarn over, pull through that 
stitch and it's not wanting to pull through very well there it is and pull through the loop on my hook chain one now we will do 20 single crochets on this handle So, right uh, here. One. Okay, what happened here? Looks like it's back. Um, can't see the front side of it. There it is. Two. I'm splitting the yarn. There's six. I don't want to do that. When I get to the end, I will meet back up with you. All right, I came to the end of my row. Let's count and make sure we have 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Now we will single crochet or slip stitch rather in this very first chain. Uh very first single crochet at the end here. That's to help make it more solid. I will get my scissors and trim about a four to five inch 
piece so I could work it in. And now I'm going to do a slip stitch. Slip it through there. Pull it tight. And now I've got my back scrubber. It can be whatever you want it to be. I just wanted to make it long enough and wide enough so that you can scrub your back and or, or put lotion on your back and not have to worry about it flipping around. So we'll see how this works and I will let you know in a further video whether I need to make it longer, shorter, fatter, thinner, or make the handles more solid, or how I'm going to fix it. My next one. I thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.